Hey everybody, Jeremy here, and I've taken a look at Bluetooth speakers in the past on this channel, but today I'm going to be looking at something a little bit different. Now this is the Akixno soundbar, but it also happens to be a Bluetooth speaker as well. And you can find this on Amazon and the price is going to be $55.99. So let's call it 56 bucks. So it's pretty affordable. And of course, there's going to be a link in the description of this video so that you can go and check it out for yourself. So this was sent to me and I've been checking it out for about a week and I want to tell you all about it. Now, first of all, as a sound bar, the main purpose for this is to sit underneath your television or mount it someplace close to your television to improve the audio quality coming out of your speakers. It's a lot more streamlined way of improving the sound quality out of your television speakers without having to have separate individual speakers lined up all over the place. Now, in some situations, if you have an entertainment center, you're going to have enough space to put a sound bar like this and put it right down in front of the TV. But in other situations, you may not have that space, but that's okay because there's a solution for that inside of the box that this comes in. Speaking of which, let me show you everything that you get in here, starting with the mounting solution right here. So you're going to get yourself two screws that you can use to mount this next to your TV, in front of it, wherever you want to put it, and there's a space to put those screws right here. So if you want to do a little bit of handy work, you have that option available to you. But if you don't need to do that and you just want to hook it up to your TV very easily, there's a variety of different ways that you can do that. Even if you don't have the most modern TV, it's perfectly fine. And we're going to start with the old school way, the RCA cable way. Now you've got these on the back of your TV. I'm pretty certain of it. You know, you got the red and you got the blue and then there's yellow. And then on some TVs, you also get the green and everything. Well, you're only gonna need the red and the white. So you just plug one end of these into the speaker, the other end into your television, and then it works that way. If you don't want to use that. There's also another solution. You also have this line in cable. Basically, just call it the headphone jack cable. So if you have a place on your TV where you can plug in a pair of headphones, that's fine. Plug this into that jack and plug the other end into the speaker and you can get sound out of your speaker that way for all your TV audio. Or if you want the highest quality that you can get out of this particular soundbar, you're going to go with the optical cable. So all of this comes inside of the box. This optical cable is pretty cool. You can just plug this into the soundbar, plug the other end into your TV. That's going to be the best audio that you can get out of this if you're going to go wired. But not every television has an optical end. So that's going to depend on what kind of television you have. And if you don't want to go the wired way, you can also go wireless because this is still a standard traditional Bluetooth speaker. So all you do is turn it on. You see the blue light and you connect it to whatever device that you have, whether it's your phone, your laptop, whatever it is that you want to use. But this does not have a battery inside of it. So you are going to have to still keep it plugged in. So it's going to be stationary, but you can control your music wirelessly. You're also going to get this remote control that comes with it and it does have its own battery so you don't have to worry about that and this remote control lets you do the standard stuff you can turn it on turn it off select the input that you want to use and then there's also some preset audio functions on here for music dialogue and movie but if you don't like the way that those sound you can also alter it if you want you can turn the bass up and down turn the treble up and down just sort of mix it to your ears preference and then there's also going to be some audio controls and some play and pause controls on here as well. So everything that you pretty much need to control your audio, you're going to get it right here inside of this remote control. Now, since this is a speaker, the most important thing is how does it sound? Because regardless of all the bells and whistles and features that a speaker might have, if it doesn't sound good, it's pretty much useless. So I'm going to give you my honest experience that I had with this speaker. Now, this is meant to go in front of your TV to improve your television's audio quality. But honestly, it really doesn't do me much good in that case because my television's built-in speakers I found to be better than this soundbar. It's not even a very good television. It's just a Toshiba. It was like $300 or $350. It was at Best Buy about a year ago. And it's nothing fancy, but one of the best things that I noticed about the TV right out the box is how good the speakers are. You don't even have to turn it up all that much for it to fill the room. I can keep it between 5 and 10 on that volume scale, and that's plenty loud enough. 
with this speaker plugged in via either the RCA cables or the line in cables because the TV doesn't have an optical input, I found it to be much lower than the television that I have downstairs. I would have to turn this up pretty much all the way in order to get to near the same quality that my television has when it's only turned up just a little bit. So it's really no use for me to keep this downstairs. So I needed to find another way to make this worth it for me. And I found a way in my laptop. So I have an HP Omen gaming laptop. And one of the things about that is they talk about the speakers that it has inside of it. They're probably better speakers than a traditional laptop, but they're still laptop speakers. It's still small. So it's not going to be the best in the world. That's where this soundbar shines for me because this soundbar does have better speakers than what comes out of my laptop. So I just simply connect it via Bluetooth and then that automatically greatly enhances the audio quality that I get when I'm listening to music or if I'm looking at YouTube videos or even when I'm playing some games. Out of all of the default settings that the Akixno soundbar can put out, I personally like the movie setting the best. I think it provides the most balance between the bass and the treble and actual dialogue. So when I'm looking at YouTube videos or listening to music, I prefer to use the movie option if I don't want to fiddle with the controls. So right now I'm just going to play you a little sample of what it sounds like with the soundbar versus my computer speakers by themselves. not going to blow you away because it certainly didn't blow me away but as you turn it up louder and louder that's when it really started to turn around and shine for me so I was playing the beta of Defiance 2050 trying to get back into that a little bit because I played the original game and turning this speaker up probably about four five six notches just by clicking on this remote control you know it really helped to bring out the audio in that world that i was in the gunshots the explosions the talking over the walkie talkies so much better than what the quality on my laptop speakers could have given me and since i keep my laptop on this table that i'm in front of this speaker is just long enough to extend the entire length without being too far over the edges on either side so I just put the laptop right in front of the speaker and since it's extending that entire length is blasting all that audio right towards me. So it's keeping me a little bit more immersed than it would be with just the standard speakers coming out of the laptop. Now you can connect it to the phone and it's pretty much the same thing with your phone. But since I have it connected via Bluetooth most of the time to my laptop, that's what I'm going to be using it for, and that's what I've gotten the most use out of. It's really going to depend on the television that you have to determine whether this soundbar is going to be better than the speakers that you have. 
On more expensive soundbars, it can be pretty much a given, but considering that this is $55, it's going to be hit or miss. So if you know that you are not happy with the audio quality that's coming out of your television speakers, maybe your TV is not that big, or maybe the speakers are just tinny and gross and they don't sound good, you can take your gamble on this and it may be better. But if you, like me, know that your television has good speakers and you're thinking that this is going to be better than those good speakers, then chances are that's probably not going to happen. So you may want to think of using this in another type of application, another application where you know that the speaker is going to be better. It's going to be better than the speaker on your phone most of the time. It's going to be better than the speakers on your laptop most of the time and that's where this is going to shine i think that this serves a better purpose as a bluetooth speaker for all your other devices except for possibly your tv because your tv may have better speakers but like i said that's something that you are already going to know so thank you everyone for watching this video and remember if you want to check out this bluetooth speaker on amazon read some more reviews do a little bit more research on it you can the link's going to be right there in the description but that is my experience with the akixno bluetooth speaker slash soundbar or a soundbar slash bluetooth speaker however way you want to look at it so thank you so much for watching once again and until next time i'm jeremy and i'll talk to you later